Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ademola Badmos. If this is your first time, please do not forget to like and subscribe. And uh, also turn on the notification bell as we'll be making more videos. So, um, I decided to make another video on Cypress. I have made enough videos on Cypress. I've made that of um, Cypress before the release of Cypress 10 version. And I've also made videos on uh, Cypress with the Cypress 10 version. But uh, more often than not, I've had people come into my DMs and uh, sent me emails that um, they have issues running Cypress with TypeScript because the previous videos have been purely based on JavaScript. So in this series, we are going to touch base on Cypress and well with TypeScript. And we are also going to get to the BDD level. So that's why the title is Cypress Cucumber with Type script so what we are going to do essentially is we are going to do the setup of um cypress with and see how we can get the typescript files and see what how we run it but i can tell you that there will be little differences between the way it's set up in the, the javascript mode and the way it is set up in the typescript mode so in this case to guide us for the TypeScript setup because I want a situation where people can be able to watch this video just once and be, or maybe twice at the most and um, use all the materials I'm going to share in this video to guide themselves to set up the um, TypeScript uh, on, um, on, on their system and I can assure you that uh, it's the same mode though I'm using the Mac system but it's the same mode of um, setup that you would Essentially, for if you're using a Windows system, nothing fancy. It's the same NPM commands I would call, and um, like just like in uh, Cypress and JavaScript, what you need to have is Node installed on your system, and we have already done this in uh, the videos for Cypress, the uh, traditional Cypress before it was uh, uh, before it was um, changed to Cypress ten. And as, we, and as of the making of this video, Cypress has also evolved. It's no longer Cypress 10. We have um, the, the Cypress version 12. So it's going to be 12 point, probably 12.12, .12, or I do not know, but um, it's going to probably be the latest version of um, Cypress that we are going to use. So sit back, relax, and um, watch the rest of the videos. But um, just as the preamble, what we are going to start with is we are going to start with the Cypress documentation. So I'll just go to Cypress doc. I'll type for that and um, I get this up and everything we want to do starts from getting started installing Cypress. So we'll follow this guide and um, inside this guide we will move down to where we have to make that change to to um this is not where we need to be let's see opening the app okay this is not where we need to be either so what i will just do is i will search for typescript yes this should do that for us typescript no so let's type for let's just search for typescript and see what it brings so these are the things that we need this is what we are going to use when we want to do this this is what we're going to do we are going to install typescript and we are going to create the tsconfig.json file that's just the basic difference after that we install our cypress and once we install Cypress, we try to open Cypress for the first time and you'll see that it will run, it will create TypeScript extension files. So in the next video, we will begin the installation. If you've gotten this far, please do not forget to like and subscribe and also leave comments if you have questions or just leave comments for vote of thanks or vote of confidence. It's all appreciated. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.